Welcome back everybody. We are moving on to processing our data. Now, I know you guys just wanna jump in there and start writing machine learning algorithms, but as always, I'm just gonna have to tell you to slow down. You can't take a large crappy data set and make good data models. You have to go through a cleaning process. So data cleaning is a huge process. Okay, so I did a senior research project on machine learning, and it was more just like a survey of machine learning. And I was, I was hoping, you know, like to pick up like 10 to 30 books and just read like all the way through. But the reality is the content is very dense and man, 90% of what I studied was all about data cleaning and data formatting. And I didn't even get to like algorithms until I had like a week or two left in the course. So I'm gonna try to not make you wait the rest of your life to learn a machine learning algorithm. But the important thing to realize is that in order for our algorithms to work correctly and to work good, we need to have clean data. And what does it mean to have clean data? That's what I'm going to be defining in this video and the upcoming section of videos where I'm going to be talking about the key processes to cleaning your data. I mentioned this briefly in a previous video, but just to reiterate, think of trying to teach a computer to recognize cats. You are going to give the computer a bunch of images of cats to learn from. And Importantly, the images are going to represent what a cat would normally look like. You're not going to give the computer these extravagant images of cats that would take a human a couple seconds to really process. That's because those are not considered normal. You want a computer to recognize a normal cat, and then just like a human, you can start teaching the computer some of the more extravagant versions of a cat. <laughs> but you don't want a computer to think what is abnormal is actually normal. So what that means is when we have a giant data set, this may not be the best data to use. And this goes back to just the previous video with continuous and categorical features. Some of the cardinality might be messed up or there might be a lot of outliers. And there's all these little things that are going to distort the process of making machine learning algorithms work to make models. So what we need to do is go through a cleaning process we'll end up with a slimmed down version that we can use for a machine learning algorithm. So what are some of the things that we need to do to our data to go from here to here? Let's talk about it. The cleaning process goes through our data and gets rid of bad data. So what is bad data? Well, there's actually two categories of bad data. There is bad data from legit reasons and bad data from illegit reasons or you could say valid bad data and invalid bad data. Okay, so what does this mean? Well, let's first talk about invalid bad data. This would come from an issue with the ETL process, which we talked about in a previous video, or it could be an issue with the documentation process on getting all of this data, but mostly has to do with getting the data and correctly formatting the table, the analytics base table, for processing. So for example, if there's a feature where every single row is null, well then there's a chance there's some invalid bad data. Essentially what that means is you need to go back, figure out where something went wrong, and you need to fix it. Then there's valid bad data. This is the hard stuff. So this is when the data itself is kind of crappy, but there was no issue in how we process the data. Just the data is crappy. Examples of this is, for example, we might get data from two different sources, and one source has extra features than the other source. So when you combine them, we have a lot of nulls. And those are the three categories of valid bad data. Missing data, bad cardinality, and outliers. And in the upcoming videos, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to deal with these three issues. So check out the next video where we will go into missing data. Peace. And oh, Please do not forget to subscribe. Okay, you don't realize how important that is to me, okay? Please subscribe to this channel. <laughs> I would be really grateful. Okay, see ya.